Hi everybody, it's Morimushki again, and I brought my helper here. You guys remember what his name is? What's your name? David. Hi David. So David is here to help me. Um, we are going to make something really fun today. It's not something that you can eat, but it is something that you can play with with your hands and get all squishy. So I'm going to put on gloves. David already has some gloves on. And we also have a plastic tablecloth on the table. And... That will help keep the mess in the right spot so it doesn't go all over your house. And we're also going to make it inside a tray. So that will also help keep the mess inside. So this is a really fun kind of thing that you can play with and touch and feel. It's called bubble dough. And it might look and feel a little bit like Play-Doh. But it's much easier to make because it only needs like three or four. You could decide what you want to put in. Or maybe even five ingredients. But really, just to make it feel soft and squishy, you only need three ingredients. And you don't have to cook it. You don't have to put in any hot water. Children can put in all the ingredients by themselves. You can touch all of them. So I'll show you all the things we're going to need. It's very simple. It's called bubble dough because you put soap in. And soap makes bubbles, right? So I'm going to use dish soap, which is what you use to wash dishes. You can also use hand soap, like the kind you use to wash your hands, or you can use body wash, like the kind that you might use in the shower to wash your body, or you could even try use shampoo, like you use to wash your hair, but uh, that kind of soap works a little bit differently. So it might not come out exactly the same, but it'll still be nice and soft and squishy. Okay, so here's our soap. The other thing that we need that's really important for a lot of kind of doughs that you feel and squish is cornstarch. Cornstarch is made out of corn, but it doesn't really look like corn. It's actually, you'll see when we get to it, but I'll also show you now. Corn is yellow, right? But cornstarch, let me see if I can open it with my gloves. Cornstarch is actually white. So it's a little different than corn, but it is made out of corn. And we're gonna be using a lot of cornstarch. And the last thing that we need is oil. So actually, Dolly, can you please get the oil? Mm -hmm. Now, those are the three things that you need to make bubble dough. Then if you want, you can add two more things that are just for fun. They will make it even more fun to play with, but you don't need them if you don't have them. So those two things is our food coloring. And the last thing is essential oil. Essential oil is something that your grown-up might know about. It's an oil that smells good, but you can't eat it. It's not an oil for eating. It's just an oil for smelling. So if you have an essential oil that you want to put in to make it smell really nice, you could add that also. But you don't need to. That's only if you have one and you want to do it. Oh, thank you, David. David brought the oil. And now we are ready to start. All right, David, let's check our recipe so we know we have everything we need and we know how much of everything we want to put in. So we're gonna need half a cup of soap. Do we have that? Yeah, and good, you're getting half a cup. We need one cup of cornstarch. Do we have a cup measure there? Yep. Great, and we need two tablespoons of oil. So Dove is going to get the tablespoon measure so we can make sure we have the right amount of everything and we have the oil right here so we're ready to start. Okay, so I hope you guys will be able to see what we're doing. We're gonna pour it into the pan over here, the tray, so you can see what we're doing. And you can make it at home in a bowl if you like, but we're doing it in a tray so that you can see better because it's flatter and it's better view for the camera. But if you make it in a bowl, that will work even better probably. Okay, David's coming back. Thank you, David. This is a tablespoon measure. That holds one tablespoon. We're gonna need two tablespoons, so we're gonna put in two of these. All right, should we start? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we'll put in is the soap. We're gonna need half a cup. So I'm gonna take off the cover because we're gonna need a lot of it. So it won't fit out of the little hole at the top. All right, David, can you get the half cup measure, please? Thank you. This is a half. I don't know if friends can see. It has a one, a line, and a two. Actually, that will look backwards to you because the camera makes it look backwards. But if you have a half cup measure in your house, then you can pour it in. Here we go. Oop, a little bit came out. All right, David, do you want to pour in the soap? Yeah. Go for it. Whoa. That looks pretty cool. Okay, that looks good. You can put that anywhere on the plastic. That's another reason it's a good idea to have the plastic, because the cup measure might get a little soapy and sticky, so 
you can just put it right on the plastic and then it won't make the table dirty. Okay, next we need one cup of cornstarch. But I'm gonna keep the soap still here because even though this recipe tells us how much we need, it might not be exactly right. We might need to add a little more soap or a little more cornstarch after, so I'm gonna keep it right here so we can use it again if we need it again. Okay, now here's the one cup measure. See that one? And we're gonna pour in the cornstarch. Everybody wanna give it a try? Yeah. Okay. Should pour it in? See, I think the, the cup is gonna be too big to scoop it, so yeah, you can pour it. See, that was, oh, <laughs> a lot came out. That's pretty good, you can pour that in, David. Okay, great. Oops. Some of the cornstarch is spilling out. So it's a good thing we have our plastic. David, did you get it a little bit on your pants? Yeah. Yeah, that happens sometimes. All right, it'll come off in the wash. No worries. Okay, now I'm gonna keep our cornstarch here for the same reason as the soap. We might need it later. And now we're ready for our oil. How many tea tablespoons did we need? Do you remember? Two. That's right. Okay, so. I'll do one and you can do the other, okay? All right, one and you can, all right, I'll be here, put it a little further over. Yeah, there we go. Two, okay. Now, if you want to add the food coloring, you can put it on right now. What color should we make ours? We have, let's see. We have blue, red, yellow, and green. Let's make it purple. Ooh, okay, purple. So, do you wanna, actually the soap is already purple, so that's a good idea, because the soap will make it a little bit purple already, and then we can add a little bit of the color. So do you wanna add a few drops of blue and I'll add a few drops of red? Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit will be good. Okay, excellent. Now we're ready to mix. Um, actually, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the essential oil. If your soap has a strong smell, you might not wanna add the essential oil because the essential oil will give it a different smell. And the smells together might be too strong. But our soap doesn't have a strong smell, so we'll just add a little bit of this essential oil. Can you see it drop in? Did it come out? No. Okay. Nothing came out. Nothing came out. All right, now we are ready good. to mix. Okay. It smells like weird. Maybe no. it's the smell of the soap. Yeah. I'm not sure. All right, guys, you ready to watch us mix? If you're ready to mix at your house, you can also start. You can get your gloves on or you can wash your hands so they're all clean. Okay, who's ready to get their hands or their gloves messy? Me. Okay, let's go. Here, let's try mix it all in together. We're going to try keep it on the tray while we're mixing. And we're gonna see if we can get it to be the right kind of feel. If the dough is too soft or too sticky, you can add more cornstarch. And if it's too dry and it's not coming together, then you can add more soap. The recipe that we had is not an exact recipe because it's not like baking or cooking where you know exactly how much you wanna put in. Each time that you make this bubble dough, it comes out a little bit differently. So you might just need to feel it and feel how it's coming out. Oh, it's sticking to my gloves. Do you think it's ready yet? Almost. I think we may need to add a little more cornstarch. Because it's still super, super sticky. Now let's let's mix it a little bit first and then we'll see. A little bit more. Still super sticky. Mm, did it turn purple though? A bit. A little bit, yeah. I think the colors didn't all mix in yet. Oh, there's a little more soap here on the sides that didn't go in. When you make it in a bowl, it will also be easier to mix everything in together. When you mix it on a tray, then the ingredients go to different sides. It's a little harder to mix. Oh, it's starting to come together more. Hmm. What do you think? Should we leave it like this, or should we try add a little cornstarch and see how it goes? I think we should goes? add a little bit more cornstarch. Okay. So we have another helper over here. You can't see her on the camera, but she's on the other side. And she's, can you see her hand? That's Leia. She's gonna put some more cornstarch in for us. Thank you, Leia. Do you wanna come around so everyone can see you? Her hands are still clean, so she can add the cornstarch for us. 
If your hands are still dirty, you can wash them if you want to add some cornstarch. Hi, Leia. Thank you. Do you want to pour some cornstarch on top here? Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, that looks good. All right, thank you, Leia. If we need more cornstarch or another ingredient, then Leia can come back to help us again. Okay, yeah, that's feeling better. You can decide how you like it. If you like how it feels when it's super, super sticky and it's all stuck to your hands, you can leave it like that. But if you want it to be a little easier to shape and mold, more like Play-Doh is, then you can add a little more cornstarch and make it a little drier. Okay, David, how's it feeling on your hands? It's feeling more like dough than before. Is it still pretty sticky? Um, not as much. Okay, that's good. If that's how you like it. Oh, the, the bubble dough that's on my hands, it's starting to come together more. Look, I feel like I could even roll it out maybe. What about yours? Are you able to roll it? Yeah. Yeah? Hmm, I'm wondering if we need a tiny bit more cornstarch or if we're good. What do you think? I think we're good. Okay. So, let's mix in the last little bit. Leah, do you want to feel it? Leah's going to come and feel it with her hands. Ooh, it's cool. How does it feel to you, Leah? Kind of double doughy. Does it feel stretchy or a soft or stretchy. sticky? It's Actually, very stretchy soft. isn't a feel. Stretchy is something you can do to it. Let's see if it's stretchy. Let's try to stretch it out. It's pretty Ooh. stretchy. That reminds me of goop, guys. Kind of feels like that goop that we sometimes make in school. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can really see on your camera, on your screen, because the colors here are not so great. I'm going to hold it a little closer so you can try to see. But our dough is actually turning purple. No, it doesn't really come up here. But it's turning into a nice light purple, kind of like the soap color. And it's feeling pretty good. So if you're making this in your house and it gets to the way you want it to feel, you can stop mixing it and you can start playing with it. Now, this dough doesn't last very long. It gets pretty dried out pretty quickly. So if you're making it in your house, then you can have it to play with and it will stay fresh for probably a day or two. If it gets all dried out, you can try add some more soap and see if that helps it. But it doesn't last as long as Play-Doh does. Like the Play-Doh that we made last week, if you watched that video and you made it together with us, we still have that in our house. It's still nice and fresh because we kept it inside a, a, bla a bag that closed. But this one, this bubble dough doesn't last so long. So it's fun to make and fun to play with, but it doesn't last very long. All right, David, I think you had some toys that you wanted to show friends how to play with together with the dough. You want to get those and bring it? Yeah. Maybe not the label card. Because it's stickier than I thought. All right, Devin's going to get some of his toys that he I'm has. Skip this. Uh, that's probably fine. He's going to bring some and show us what you can do with the bubble dough. Because in school, in Chabad, we have lots of different toys that are good for playing with different doughs. But you might be wondering what you can use inside your house that would also be good. So Devin's going to show you some toys that he has in his house that he thinks is a good idea, and you can see if you have anything similar in your house. All right, David, let's see what you got. Hmm, what did you bring? Uh, a lion. Hmm, that's cute. Is that a Lego lion? Yeah. All right. A tiger. Oh, so you're sticking it in the dose and pressing it in so it can stand up straight? Yeah. Oh. It doesn't really stand that well. What if you push it in a little more? Or you, you don't want it to get stuck? Yeah, I don't want to get stuck. Okay. All right, These I think these animals might be taking a rest. It'll come up in, in, if you wash it. All right, what else do you have? Um, menchies. Little people. Hey, guys. These are some little boys. There's a girl. Oh, wait, let's show the... Let's show the friends closer up to the camera so they can see what that is. Anyone know what this is over here? It's a little challah. Should we put a challah inside our bubble dough? All right, challah. Get ready to join the friends who are standing in the bubble dough. Look, they can stand straight. That looks like fun, too. Here are the marbles. Um, hmm, I wonder what else. You know, while David's finding some more toys, I'll show you what else you can do with the bubble dough. 
you can roll it out. It's a little stiff, but you can roll it. You can try and see if you can make a shape with it, like an, a letter. Let's see if we can make a letter O. Hmm. Super soft, but I think if we hold it together, it will make an O. How's that? Is that an O? It looks like it has an O in their name. Hmm. Hey, David has O. Right, David, you have an O in your name? Yeah, David. D-O-V-I-D. So there's an O. That's David, the second letter in David's name. And you can also pile it up super high. See if you can make a bubble dough tower. Oh, David, what else did you bring now? Chairs. Oh, look at that. The people are sitting on chairs that's on top of the dough. They look super cozy. Hmm, what are they sitting there for, David? I think their legs got a bit tired. <laughs> they wanted to take a rest in the dough. Yeah. Good idea. Wouldn't it be fun to sit on bubble dough and have a rest there? I'm going to see how high I can make my bubble dough. Maybe I'll make a bubble dough castle. Oh, I think it's going to fall over. There it is. And maybe let me see how flat I can make it, too. Mm, let me see if I can make it spread out all the way flat like a pancake. And can I use your animals to make some footprints in the dough? Thank you. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I think any Lego animals you have have little holes in the bottom of their feet and they make cool prints in the dough. That looks like little squares. Do you think a real lion would have that kind of footprints? No. I don't think so, but it's fun to pretend, right? All right. Any other things that you want to show the friends that you can do with bubble dough? All right. Well, guys, I hope you had fun making bubble dough with us. We're going to see how much longer we can play with it for and how much longer it's going to stay fresh for. I think it's going to dry out pretty soon. But if you make it in your house, you can send us a picture of you playing with it. And I hope you have a lot of fun making it together with your family. Make sure not to put it in your mouth because it does have soap in it, but that's not for eating. But it's super fun to hold, squeeze, and shape, and put some toys in if you're growing up, say it's okay. So have a really good time, and we'll see you next time we make something fun together. Bye.